ties between China and, the Af and Africa have over the years extended to the education sector. Across the continent, numerous Confucius Institutes have been established as part of this initiative. One Kenyan who received a scholarship to study in China is now teaching local workers Chinese. Wilkes Tanyawa reports. How do you say hi to them? You say someone in the morning. It's good you can use. In this classroom, students echo every word the teacher says. The sounds are new, the words foreign. They're learning Chinese and have entrusted their learning to a teacher who has walked this path before them. A few years ago, Peter Gekonyo was sitting right where his students are now, learning the building blocks of Chinese. An English and literature student at the University of Nairobi, he watched as the Confucius Institute was established and saw students at the institute win trips to study in China. He wanted to go too. They used to take their students or the students from the choir to China for some what they call summer camps. So I thought uh, maybe I can one day go to China. How do I go about going to China? Peter enrolled at the institute. His diligence in class earned him a coveted scholarship. Now when we got the scholarship, we went to, to China, a, deep, uh, a city called Tianjin, so in a school called Tianjin Normal University, Tianjin Shifan Daxue. Then that's another chance I got now to, you know, to further my language, the Chinese language. Now he has returned to share his knowledge. Peter's students today all work at the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport. The Kenya Airport's authority has sponsored its staff to learn the language for three months to enable them to communicate with Chinese travelers. Most of the time there's a lot of language barrier. We are not able to communicate. So you realize at times you use the sign language, but if we now learn the Chinese language, we'll be able to communicate to them effectively. They're making slow, steady progress, but it isn't always easy. Like that. The way we write and the way they write is totally different. Peter is one of an increasing number of students who have benefited from the cooperation between the two countries. Hundreds of students have passed through Nairobi's Confucius Institute and have secured jobs working in local industries as translators or in Chinese companies. Over 100,000 Kenyans have secured employment in Chinese companies and some, like Peter, are passing on the skills. As Kenya and China continue to cooperate in the education sector, the language provides a bridge, bringing the two countries closer. For three hours every week, students assemble at this classroom to learn Chinese. These lessons help to break down language and cultural barriers and are also preparing the students for a multicultural future. Wilkis Anyabwa, CGTN, in Nairobi, Kenya.